What people don't talk about as much is that to heal trauma, you have to grieve a lot. You need to grieve the life you didn't have, the love you didn't get, the years lost, the way you treated yourself and others. We don't like to feel this way, so that's why most people avoid it. They suppress it. They disassociate. They will stay frozen in their grief for years, and they won't even know it, but it will show up in their lives as depression, stagnancy, and disconnection from their emotions and relationships. It's some of the most difficult emotional work that a person can ever do, but it's the only way through because without that grieving, without that letting go, the trauma stays with you. It poisons your body, your mind, and your spirit and makes you keep reliving and recreating the past as if it's still present. The only way out of this is by going into the emotions that weren't safe for you to feel when the trauma happened. If you can feel those emotions, it's a sign that you are already healing. You can't heal what you don't feel has a profound truth in it. When we feel, we remember our souls again. We regain connection to life and all that is. When we grieve, we heal our hearts and our connection to God and every other living being. Underneath all the feelings you don't want to feel is your aliveness, your vitality, your laughter, your love for life and your love for others and your soul. Grieving is a soul retrieval where you dive into the darkness to recover the truth of who you are.